play a few clips from our podcast and we would like some feedback because we want to know if we need to re-record it. Yeah. So the uh, first clip is Maximus Studios, our amazing sponsor. So uh, this is where the advertisement in the middle of it. Uh, so yeah. Maximus Studios! Our sponsor, Maximus Studios. <laughs> now, he is truly amazing, isn't he? Yeah. Amazing guy. So intelligent. Attractive too. Girls <laughs> him up. <laughs> really? Yes. If you have not seen Maximus Studios content, oh you, my god, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. I watch him every day. Every mm. day. I cannot sleep without watching one of his videos. <laughs> okay, so, um, Sponsorship. Do we need to make it a bit more serious? Because obviously there was a lot of jokes in there. Yeah. Do you actually know what like what videos he actually does? No, like, not at all. Oh, you might have to research into that. Yeah. Why is it in a product? Yeah. 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 Sponsor a product. You need to know what product actually. Well, I was just thinking. If you have to do a bit more research into his, the videos that he actually does, then you can mm. probably yeah. the make idea, it more a bit more professional. Yeah. Because the idea of a sponsorship is that you're kind of like promoting each other sort of thing, or one person gets paid for promotion, so it's that. Yeah. Why are we not paid? Yeah, Kwame. Well, I lie to people. Because you do promotions like that, that's why you're not paid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ethan, yes, Quinn. I have like a discount code he's with merch stores. I like that idea. A discount code to get free max in the studio match. <laughs> it still has to be like something like Marvel related. You yeah, I guess we should have just planned the sponsorship a bit better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is Ellie's. Coming out story, so be nice. Thank you. I've been trying for a while to tell my mum that I was bisexual, and I literally couldn't say it. I don't know why, but like I just couldn't like get the words out. I felt like I physically couldn't say it, and like I would just be sitting there like trying to say it, and then I'd be crying because I couldn't say it. And she's like, "What's why are you crying? Yeah. Like, what are you doing?" And I just couldn't tell her what's wrong. Um, do you think so that maybe deep down you're a bit disgusted at yourself? Yeah, massively. Yeah. I hated it. Mm, and I was too. like, I just want to, I was trying to forget about it. I didn't want it to be yeah, I get anything to do with me. But um, I literally could not tell her in person. Yeah. So I was in the middle of like a science lesson and yeah. I never listened in science lessons. So I was just on my phone and the video popped up on my notification. And I was like, <laughs> and then I decided to send it to my mum. Yeah. And I was like, can you please watch this? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I watched it. It was, it was good. Why, why did you send it to me? And she was like, I'm Daryl. I'm bisexual. Oh. what then, did she say? And, and she was like, oh my god. I'm so happy you told me. I love you so much. That's so sweet. Um, and then I got home and I cried so, so much. And like, it was just a mess. happiness, relief. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was brilliant about it. Like, Okay, that was Ellie's coming out story. Thank you so much for your interest, guys. What was your initial reaction to that? Lovely story. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Every, yeah. It really, really touched me. Yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah. Played my emotions. Did it? Yeah. I don't know if it'd be a sarcastic. <laughs> no, it's not my emotions. Yeah, it was um, can you skip it to 16? Good. Carry on. Yes, Ray, you were going to say something. I just, I feel like it was. Yeah, it was really. I know, it was really. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like. See, before you said you mentioned something about having that the, the balance between si being serious and having a joke. I feel uh -huh. like it was the perfect balance. Oh. So, <laughs> That's great. Okay. Well, um, a bit of a different story. My coming out story. Lovely, lovely Women's stuff. Women's forties yeah. and um, certain aspects of them. But I just felt I felt so disgusted at myself for feeling that. Mm. Like Izzy, why do you? Why are you doing this to yourself? You need to, like you said, forget about it. Yeah. But those kind of things you can't forget about. You know, it's it's not something you could just be like, oh, that's not part of me anymore. Well, it is, so deal with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, someone like Hayley, how do you say her surname? Kyoko? Kyoko, <laughs> I don't know. Um, she, uh, is she a lesbian or bisexual? Uh, bisexual. Yeah, she's bisexual. And when I found out about her and Stephanie Scott, I thought, oh, God, she's <laughs> most beautiful woman on this planet. Sorry, Ellie, you're probably next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, but yeah, just looking at those people, I realised bisexuality is a thing and I don't have to be a full lesbian to, you know, so I would mention it, mentioning it to my parents over the years because I knew since, God, I think year eight, I kind of knew. Yeah, I thought it's always like everyone's turn time yeah i feel like the hormones just kind of make everything a lot more dramatic than it should be yeah but, yeah yeah 
Anyway, yeah, I so I just eventually just came out to my parents and said it, and they just said that Izzy, it's just a phase. You're being stupid. Um, it's uh, they implied I was disgusting. It was like that was my coming out story. <laughs> that was very <quite> sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still don't want to believe it. Uh, they kind of hate me for it. Can't have a girlfriend till I'm 18. Um, the contrast between that. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It gives a different point of view for different people. Exactly. How did it make you feel? So <laughs> sympathetic. Uh, Thanks, Reed. Because literally, it was the, it's the same aspect as, as in that you came out to your parents and Eddie came out to their parents, but obviously, <coughs> seeing a different picture, you see how. Yeah, like your parents reacted differently to your parents reacting to this from an outside point of view. It's good to see that. <laughs> um, do you think we need to re-record it? Because we were talking about how maybe some of the points we were trying to get across weren't really... I don't know. Yeah. Like, we definitely need to redo the sponsorship, because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, but... Yeah. I liked it too, but... Not professional. Well, not I mean, we're, we're mostly just talking about Kwame and just how much we love him. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah, do we, we need to re-record it? No, you don't. I don't think so. I think you need to re-record it. Maybe, maybe the Kwame bit was a bit exaggerated. Well. I mean, we yeah. can cut parts out if it's if you don't like it because it only needs to be like isn't it like ten minutes? It's like the minimum. No, I thought it was twenty. Twenty. 20. Well, it was like twenty-seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. We can still cut it down, and if it's parts we don't like, we can just cut that out properly. Okay. Thanks, guys, for your. Opinion.